coming up, the weekend update. Then, Western Collapse in the Daily Update. This is the Daily Helldiver. Freedom's greetings, Helldivers. This is Lily Noy, happy to announce that we are back and live in the stars once again. Saturday saw the Andromeda Sector falling under near-complete automaton control with the loss of Charon Prime and Marfark. Helldivers attempted the Martale Gambit to prevent the automatons from gaining control of the sector, but were unable to liberate it in time, leaving them stranded. Almost immediately after the fall of Charbal and Menkit, Maisa's early warning systems flared as the automatons directed their attention towards the Ymir sector. In the Lakai sector, the automatons attacked Lasa through Penta and punched through the Menkent line. The orbital defense systems put in place by Seif early last week were not enough for the overwhelming show of force by the automatons. Within seconds of Lasath falling, the automatons continued to push towards Super Earth by ways of Vernon Wells. In the east, Oshone fell to the Terminids. With the Mirren sector overrun by the bugs, Istanu and Fori Prime faced another wave of attacks. Early morning Sunday came, not with a bang, but a whisper, as silence spread across the galaxy. The automatons launched a cowardly strike against the Vernon Wells Intragalactic Communication Hub, disrupting all comms for the day. The 8th Seif Engineering Corps and their Helldiver attaché were able to restore all systems early this morning and quickly repositioned the hub deeper into super-Earth-controlled territory. However, when systems came back online early this morning, Helldivers were met with shocking news. Vernon Wells and Maisa were nearly under total automaton control. The Helldivers fought hard with nearly 56,000 super destroyers deployed above the planet, but the automatons proved to be more formidable than ever. The automatons then moved to Charball 7, looking to completely secure the Andromeda sector to make a mockery of brave Helldivers that gave their lives in defense of Super Earth. With the fall of Vernon Wells, the Western Front is in near-complete collapse as citizens from nearby sectors flee towards Super Earth. In the Ymir sector, Maesa fell shortly after the news of Vernon Wells, and the automatons pushed through Charbal 7 to reach Coapessa 4 in an attempted power grab, while the Helldivers scrambled to assist the poor citizens caught out by this brazen assault. The Ymir sector has quickly become cut off from the rest of Super Earth controlled space as the Wezen Varilia border has become completely overcrowded. The governor of Vega Bay has petitioned to Super Earth for a civilian approved route directly from Vega Bay to Varilia 5 in an effort to relieve some of the pressure Wezen is feeling. With the Trigon sector now under attack, Super Earth is likely to deny the request in order to prevent the automatons from easily encircling Ymir. The Helldivers are rapidly amassing a defensive posture for the Western Front, and we will soon see not only a retaking of our falling planets, but a complete annihilation of the automatons once more. Don't cry for the fallen brothers and sisters of democracy. Fight where you can and when you can. Remember, to be free is to bleed for the tree of liberty. Helldivers to Hellpods. In a more promising update, the planets of Astanu and Fori Prime were successfully defended. The Helldivers on the Eastern Front are pushing through into Oshaone, looking to re-establish control of the Terminids in the Mirren sector. However, the bugs had alternative plans, with Astanu once again come under attack. The governor of Astanu sent out a distress call late in the afternoon with a message stating, quote, I am once again asking you to come to the aid of Astanu. The Helldivers on the Eastern Front were quick to return to the defense of Astanu, with one fire team reported as saying, quote, Ah, shit, here we go again. By this time tomorrow, we expect the Helldivers to have completely pushed back the Terminids. Be sure to stay tuned for an update from Chrissy V and what you can do for Super Earth. Later tonight, check out Killin' with Cletus. That's all for us today, Helldivers. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night, Helldivers.